Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations, with a little bit more about uh, over the horizon radar systems and their effect on ham radio operation. Uh, those of you who are old enough and have been a ham long enough to remember the Russian woodpecker, the famous Russian woodpecker deployed uh, in the Ukraine region of the Soviet Union from roughly 1976 until 1989, uh, will recall what destructive interference uh, it caused. Uh, I lived uh, during that time on the East Coast, most, uh, most of that time on the East Coast, uh, and remember, when I lived in Connecticut, that that th uh, thing would attain levels of 40 dB over S9 in my receiver. Uh, it's, it really sounded like a woodpecker, and if you go to my um, uh, video, New OTH Radars Deployed Query, you'll find in the suggested uh, videos section a whole bunch of... Um, different videos dealing with different types of systems, all of which involve the radiation of electromagnetic waves into the ionosphere. Uh, it seems now that there are a number of smaller over-the-horizon radar systems in use, but none of these can compare in magnitude to the, uh, what I am given to understand was called the Duga 3, or uh, the system which we knew better than is the Russian woodpecker. That antenna is also shown in a couple of videos, several videos in the suggested videos section. It's not hard to find it. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you want to look at it, um, there's a lot of propaganda that goes around, that surrounds uh, the history of this thing. Um, but when you look at the uh, antenna structure very carefully. As you watch the video, you'll see that it appears to be a gigantic phased array of dipole antennas fed with open wire transmission line. Very interesting. And an, an array that massive, uh, which would be constitute really a gigantic broadside array, is a, is a beast that I would love to connect to my radio and get on there and see if I could and see what I could hear and what I could work with it. Imagine a phased array of that size connected to your radio. Imagine what you'd hear with it. Uh, I I can. I've got a pretty vivid imagination. <laughs> but alas, some dreams are better not. Uh, realized. Uh, as one famous saying goes, the having uh, is uh, not as good as the wanting in many cases. And I think in this case that might be one, but I'd love to get my radio connected to that thing and I'd love to get some technical papers on that thing, but there are a lot of things that I can, I'd love to do and I know I'll never do. Nevertheless, the threat that we face now from over the horizon radar as radio amateurs is vastly smaller than the venerable old woodpecker which plagued the ham bands for more than a decade during the Cold War. Stan Jibalisco signing off saying 73 and so long, which in my native fist comes out as da-da-da-da-da-da.